It's about more than recognition. It's about more than legitimacy. Uh, it is a matter of um, uh, support. It's a matter of carrots. It's a matter of, of that assistance. Uh, but it's also a matter of accountability. And it is making clear uh, to uh, a group like the Taliban that they will be held accountable in meaningful uh, and profound ways should they not do so. So let, let me, I, I won't belabor the point, but uh, the European Union, uh, all of their ministers of foreign affairs put out a statement saying they call on all parties in Afghanistan to respect all commitments made and to pursue further and inclusive uh, political solution. Uh, the Canadians have been uh, outspoken on this. Prime Minister Trudeau, I'm sure many of you have seen what he says, uh, said. The NATO Secretary General um, uh, has said that uh, there are efforts to establish some kind of inclusive government. Many national actors have called for that. Called for that. And of course, if that happens, it will be easier to have some kind of relationship. Uh, Heiko Maas, the German Foreign Minister, we will not give another cent to the Taliban um, if the Taliban introduces Sharia law. How can the United States or the international community, aside from dangling the, the aid um, issue out there, which I know we've talked about the Taliban once, it may, they may end up not really caring at the end of the day. And so how can all of these um, aspirations be enforced? They, they may not care about these ephemeral concepts like legitimacy and recognition. But they haven't in the past. Uh, their, their past behavior suggests that, correct. Uh, what, so there's not a whole lot of confidence what, that they won't what, get their... But what this does, this has... Pre the, the, question, the question was not about the airport, Rich. I'm happy to talk about the airport. Yeah. Uh, the, in Afghanistan, we are hearing that flights are leaving daily that are not completely full, are half full. Is this a problem with people getting to the airport? Is it the consular issue? What's, what's the holdup on that front? So, Rich, our goal is to have every single seat filled on every single aircraft that takes off uh, from the airport. Of course, uh, we are uh, most responsible for the U.S. military flights uh, that are uh, taking off, but there have also been uh, commercial charters as well. Uh, that have been part of these repatriation and relocation efforts. Uh, so as you have heard, um, it was a couple days ago now that we issued notifications to the first tranche of American citizens that had indicated uh, a uh, desire to be repatriated. Uh, just recently, as you heard from the Deputy Secretary, we have notified all Americans in Afghanistan who have expressed a desire uh, to be repatriated uh, that they should consider going to the Hamid Karzai, Hamid Karzai International Airport. Uh, so we are sending very clear, very precise communications to an increasingly large universe of people. We are opening the aperture uh, to see to it that there are people there present with uh, the increasing lift capacity that the U.S. military has provided uh, so that there is not, uh, to the extent we can help it, a single unused seat on these aircrafts. Uh, we are shifting our tactics. We are reaching out to a broader aperture uh, of the community of people who may be eligible or interested uh, in relocation. Uh, and we expect uh, the number of people who are repatriated or relocated uh, to continue uh, to climb in the coming days. That's certainly our hope. Uh, we have a 